Hello guys and welcome back. So in the previous video we have added the pickup rifle functionality. Now in this video we will add the pun punching functionality in our game. Uh, let me deactivate the rifle. Okay. Or else it will be deactivated because we typed that code in the previous video in our script. Okay. In our pickup rifle script. Okay. Now right here in the scripts folder let's create a script by the name of player punch let's click on the player let's assign this player punch script there like that let me minimize that one so that we focus up on the player punch let's open this up in here what we will do we will create a header by the name of player punch variables and in here we will create a public camera by the name of cam and then another public float by the name of give damage off because we will give damage to whatever we punch okay for example the zombie and after that let's create another float by the name of shooting range and we are punching so we can actually change this to punching range and the punching range will be 0.3f now the punching functionality will be similar to the rifle functionality we will when we punch we will also ray cast an invisible ray and whatever then inside the punching range will get the damage okay this is similar to the rifle as we did right here so simply copy all of this code let's get back to the player punch and right here let's create a public void punch and inside this function we will paste it okay so we have a recast hit which is by the name of hit info in this we will store all of the information as you know nothing is need to explain in this but instead of the shooting range we will now call the punching range so whatever is inside the punching range get hit we will give damage to that object and also we will show that name and right here if we hit this object then we will give this object and uh, damage of give damage of okay this is similarly oh you can say similar to the rifle okay so let me just simply save this we can't do this code on the rifle because when the game start uh, the rifle script is will be uh, deactivated so the player will not punch so that's why we will do that on the rifle pickup so uh, when we didn't pick up the rifle we can still punch but when we pick up the rifle then the player can no longer be punching anything he will be then just shoot with the rifle so for that first of all right here at the top we need a reference to the player punch script so we will say player punch and let's name this as player punch as well but p will be small and after this we will create a private float by the name of next time to punch this will be equals to 0 f after this we will create a public float by the name of punch charge and this will be 15 now okay now right here in the update we will say that whoops if we press the f1 button then we want to punch and also we will say if time dot time is greater than or equals to the next time to punch 
this is the similar code as we did for the right one okay so nothing is too much need to be explained right here and then next time to punch will be then equals to time dot time plus one f divided by the punch charge and after this we will call the punch function from the clear punch script so clear punch dot punch okay this is this function and that will be it the player will then simply punch and I just save this get back to the player punch right here add a semicolon we have to add that and also the only change which we will be now making is that when we punch we don't want to show any kind of effect okay so we can just simply comment this out for now or actually if you want to show the effect then we can also do that but then we need a reference to the word effect so for that right here let's create a header by the name of player punch and in here we will we will need a reference to the effect so we'll say public game object and we need a reference to the word effect okay and also if we get back to the rifle pickup right here we need to type input dot get button down because we don't want to punch in the breast mode we only want to when we press the mouse uh, left button then we want to punch only once okay so you need to add the get button down right here now save both of these let's click on this rifle pickup let's add the effect there okay right here we need to assign the script so we can actually drag and drop the player in there and it will automatically select the player punch from the player game object now if you click on the player we have the player punch script right here we need to apply the wooden effect and then the camera and that will be it now if we save it let's play the game and you will notice that let's hit this wall from here when we hit this wall it will not play any effect and if you notice it is not showing the name of whatever we are hitting let me close it down let's change the punching range to one okay now let's play the game Now let's punch something. Okay, it still didn't work. Let's punch the Okay, it still doesn't punch. Okay, in the console it didn't show anything and also it doesn't play the effect right there. Let me change this to one let's change the range to five okay save it right here change the punching range to five as well i think this is because the punching range is too small so we need to add that now if we hit as you can see now it shows cabin okay now let's uh, hit this as you can see now it shows the effect and when we hit it 10 times as you can see the object is now being destroyed and now when we hit this one from this close position as you can see it shows a2 but when we punch from here as you can see it doesn't anything else so it means that our punching is working and if it, it didn't work out for you then try changing the punching range okay 
Now our player can punch, our player can pick up a rifle, walk around and shoot whatever the player wants to do. Now the next thing is to add animation and make so our game looks beautiful. Okay, so with this done, catch you guys in the next one.